the rabbit in the film, rabbits kind of exist like they are prey. And I think as controversial as this may be, I think women have that in their mind all the time. And it's, so there's always fear. It's always there, you're always aware. And it's a scary place. So if you kind of delve into that horror and genre, it's a very fertile ground for females, women, you know, or the other. So Run Rabbit Run is about a single mum, professional single mum, who as her daughter turns seven, her daughter starts to say that she belongs to another family and just what that brings up for our main character. I miss her. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a bit hard to miss somebody if you've never met them? I miss people I've never met all the time. I guess I wanted to tell this story I guess for myself, as a parent, to become a parent is a really confronting thing. Uh, you're very vulnerable and I really wanted to explore that idea of, of the vulnerability of a parent, how frightening it is, and also that you know, the fear of infecting your own child with your own stuff. That you've had a child and suddenly you realise oh, I haven't fixed myself, I haven't done the work, and inadvertently you are transferring all of that onto that precious, innocent, vulnerable thing. And that's like one of my greatest fears. And so it was great to st explore those themes and those ideas through that piece. It was amazing working with, with Sarah Snook, because she's the most incredible actor. So insightful, almost to the point where it's a little bit like magic <laughs> just what she's got going on. I worked with Sarah before. I worked with Sarah on The Secret River. Yeah, that was a very, very tight schedule and trying to achieve so much. And, you know, she would get everything in one take. And you go, I would, I would do other takes just to be polite. <laughs> just, and, and I felt terrible. And sometimes when we were really under pressure, I'd have to, I'd move on after one take. And she'd go, oh, what, really? I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Just, yeah, she was so extraordinary. But I, I promised her, this time we're doing more than one take, Sarah. This time, so we, yeah, we could explore more. But, you know, she would still nail it in one and be incredible. She really is something else. I hope I'm not gushing too much, but yeah, she's, she's pretty good. We were lucky to have her. Oh, okay. So my son, Henry, came and did work experience during the holidays, uh, during prep, and I've got a real thing about making sure that anything is that is supposedly from a child in a piece actually comes from a child. Yeah, you, know, you know, I can feel it when there's been an adult hand involved. And so he kind of started drawing masks and then it went to Marion Boyce who then took that shape and created the mask after that. The eye shape is very particular because you want to be able to see in but not too much. If it was too big, you know, we had somewhere the eyes are too big and so we see right into uh, Lily's soul and we don't want that. We want to, yeah, you know, it had to be the perfect size. So, um, yeah, so we kind of experimented with that a little bit. Too small and it's not enough and so that was an interesting process and the texture was, you know, we tried different materials but all really making sure that you go, a kid has to be able to do it and made everything that we've done. Can you take this off please? Don't. I hope Audiences take away empathy for for their own vulnerabilities, you know, being kind to ourselves and, and seeing someone, I mean, obviously this is an extreme, but seeing someone struggling with being a parent and that, yeah, it's, it's, it's normal to get those things out there, that it's normal to struggle as a parent and to feel like a human and not suddenly be this super parent being, you know, it doesn't suddenly appear that they're still a very fragile, human inside there who's going to make mistakes, who's going to be bad at it sometimes. Hopefully there's, there's stuff like that, that you know, the, the things that we've done in our past that we're not, they're maybe ashamed of or we're not pleased with are universal and that we've all done them.